Hello, in this video, I will show you how to solve the HiConnect offline issue. Have you ever got this situation in your HiConnect app? Like 80 or 90% loading, or it shows network is unstable, connecting again. Now let me show you how to solve this issue. Firstly, we need to check the cable connection. If you don't have the switch, just connect your NVR's LAN port and the computer to the same router. Or if you have a switch, just connect your NVR's LAN port and the computer to the same switch and the switch is connected to the router. Then, we check the router's internet access via the computer. Firstly, we go to the computer's desktop, and the bottom right you can see the network button. Just click that one and disconnect the Wi-Fi first if you have the Wi-Fi connected. Then, we right-click the network button, and then click Open Network and Internet Settings. On your left column, you can see Ethernet. Click that one, and then on the right column, you can see Change Adapter Options. Click that one. In the pop-up page, find the Ethernet connection, right-click it, and left-click the properties. In the pop-up page, find the Internet TCP IP, IPv4 address. Double-click it. Then in the pop-up page, choose Obtain an IP address automatically and Obtain DNS server address automatically. And then click OK. Click OK again. Then refresh this page. Okay, now we go back to the desktop and the bottom right. If you can see the network button, it's like this video, which means the computer has the internet access and the router has the internet access. You can also web browsing any web address to confirm it. Okay, now let's check the NVR internet access. Firstly, we open the tool SADP, and this tool can be downloaded from the HackVision website. Then you should be able to find the NVR and the NVR's IPv4 address. In the web browser, put the NVR IP address in it. And then login. In this page, firstly, we go to the configuration. And then on your left column, go to Network, Advanced Settings, then Platform Access. In this page, firstly, we check the register status is offline or online. Most of the time, for this case, it's offline. Then we go to the basic settings and TCP IP page. Firstly, we enable DHCP function. Then in the alter DNS, we untick that one and put the preferred DNS server address 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. And the alternative DNS server address is 8.8.4.4. Click Save. Now we go back to the SADP tool and you should be able to find your NVR's IP address has been changed. We go back to the web browser and put the new NVR IP address in it and the login. Now we go back to the configuration, network, advanced, platform access. Most of the time, the register status now should be online. But if it's still offline, then it could be the internet service provider or the router block some ports and cause this offline issue. So the next step is to solve the router's block issue, we can enable the router's DMZ function. Firstly, in the Windows Start toolbar, we input CMD. And in the pop-up page, we input ipconfig to check the gateway IP address, which is the router's IP address. Then we go to the web browser and input this gateway IP address to visit the router and then input the router's password to login. Here I use a test router as an example. Firstly, we go to the advanced. In the pop-up page, you should be able to find WAN services and you can see DMZ function is disabled. Click this function and then in the pop-up page, you can enable the DMZ function and in the destination IP, just put the NVR's IP address in it, and then just reboot the router and the NVR, and then go back to the network advanced platform access of the NVR to check the register status is online or offline. If it's still offline, then we can go to next step to try to change the HiConnect server address. Firstly, we go to the NVR's platform access page and then take custom. Here we can use any one of these four HiConnect server address. So for example, let's put the dev.uas.hiconnect.com in it and then click save. Then we go to System Maintenance to reboot the NVR. After the reboot, we go back to the Platform Access page to check if the register status is online or offline. If it's offline, we can change another HiConnect server address and try again. Thanks for watching this video.
If you want to know more about high vision products troubleshooting, please leave your comments here. Thank you.